hello hello hey welcome back if you've been here before welcome back and if you're new welcome I'm so glad that you're here and um, first off my name is Jessica and I am a freelance makeup artist and hairstylist so and I just have fun sharing little bits tips and tricks with you um, here on social media so um, if you are new here, please introduce yourself. I'd love to get to know you. And if you've been here a while, thank you so much. Anyways, I'm here in my robe and my towel. Why? Because we are going to talk about how I get big hair. I posted a picture, um, I think it was two weeks ago. I went and got my headshots done. And if you haven't had that done before, you should because it's kind of empowering and awesome and I don't know for me it was a great confident boost and just made me feel beautiful and every time I look at those pictures it's a reminder that um, I can do one I can do something that's out of my comfort zone and two I am a beautiful powerful strong woman so I would just suggest you do it just for fun um, and if you need a photographer, I can hook you up with the photographer. Anyways, um, I posted on social media that I was doing that and so many people loved my hair and it was huge. So I thought it would be fun to show you how I do that and I was going to do a live, but it takes a minute so I didn't want to drag you on. So I'm going to film this and I can pause it here and there so that uh, you're not here with me all day long because your time is valuable and we have busy lives anyways so I just washed my hair guys it's been a hot minute I haven't washed my hair for a whole week usually I wash my hair on Wednesday and Sunday and then the other days I don't really touch it much and if you want me to go more in depth of what I do to stretch out my hair and not have to wash it so often I can do that for you so leave a comment below if you would like a video on that anyways I to prep to get big hair I use Kendra volumizing shampoo and I just concentrated this on my scalp um, because of my ends of my hair are super dry and to be honest volumizing shampoo one of the things that makes it so that your hair is volumized is it kind of opens up that cuticle. If I concentrated that on my ends where the cuticle is already open and kind of frizzy, then that's just going to make it more frizz and I don't want that. I want the volume on the top and I don't want to be triangle hair. So, if that makes sense. And then to condition, I use either one of these. I And these are sample sizes, but you can get the full size. Uh, Moroccan oil hydration deep hydration restorer uh, looks like this and you can buy it in a lot of salons or the Pureology I don't know if you can see that there you go the Pureology color fantastic instant deep conditioning mask this is a sample size as well guys this is my favorite and so I concentrate this on the ends and just so my ends aren't super fried then you're going to take a pick or I use this wet brush and comb through it of course every single time I film that's when boo needs to bark anyways um so I comb through it get all the tangles out And then I'm going to use some product after, or right now. All right, so I'm using, you can use any volumizing root boost, but for me right now I'm using Bedhead Big Volume Boosting Foam. Looks like this. and I concentrate that 
where I want the volume. All right, next I'm gonna put in Moroccan oil. Guys, if I could drink this, I would. This is my ride or die. Um, and it's almost out, so I need to get a new bottle. Can't live without it. Anyways, the reason why I like this is it helps smooth the hair, and I also feel like it helps um, my drying time. My hair dries a lot faster with it and smoother, so then I'm not doing a bunch of work afterwards with a flat iron or a curling iron. I can get most of the work done. And even when I air dry, this makes it so my hair air dries nicely and doesn't um, get all frizzy. And I use a good amount. <laughs> generous amount. That's another thing I like about it is it doesn't weigh down my hair and feel super oily. Like it doesn't look oily if that makes sense. I'm like really scrounging for the last little bits in here. <laughs> I didn't know I was this far gone. Anyways. So I put that in my hair and then I go in with this heat protectant. It's Sebastian Trilliant. And before you shake it up, it has two parts. And then you shake it up, mix those two parts together, and just spray that in your hair. Because you are going to be adding heat to your hair. change real quick. I'll let this air dry just a little bit. So I'm going to part it on the <laughs> side that I normally don't wear it on just to get that extra volume too. So I'll be back in a jiff. All right. So I'm dressed and ready to go. All right. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to put in these Velcro rollers in my hair. So kind of like an old school grandma roller set, but bigger for longer hair. You can get these, I've seen them at Walmart, but you can get them at Sally's or any um, hair supply store. Um, they're really nice to, the reason why I like them my hair is so long that I can't get it in the frame. Not usually something that I have a problem with. I usually don't have long hair. So even though my hair is not super long, this is long for me. Alright, so I'm going to take one of these bigger ones at the crown because that's where I want most of the volume. And just roll it up. You don't have to be like precise with your parting. Just Get it in there and then I have these clips. Focus. There you go. Um, but I'm just going to clip them into. I've put my mirror out so I can see what I'm doing <laughs> instead of this little tiny screen. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. 
And you're going to want to go like straight up or even over direct your hair so that this is going to sit to where your hair is kind of, here we go. And some of them will stick without a clip, but I like having the clip in there since I'm going to be wearing this for a second. So yeah, I put my hair in these rollers and then I let it air dry for a little bit. Not until they're completely dry, but I'll go do my makeup, do stuff around the house, that sort of thing while my hair is mostly drying. Really, anytime that you blow dry your hair, you don't want to start when your hair is soaking wet. That's just going to cause unnecessary heat damage to your hair. And so you want your hair to be about 80% dry before you start doing any of the finishing work. And that can be air dried or you can just run your blow dryer through it to get it mostly dry. If that makes sense, these are all flopping around so I need to pin them better. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. There we go. So yeah, no really rhyme or reason where I'm placing these, except that I just want a lot of volume, so I'm doing straight up. I'm trying to grow my bangs out, so they're kind of in this awkward. I really am wanting a change though with my hair, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I've really considered chopping it off, but it's taken me so long to grow out my pixie that I need to probably enjoy having long hair for just a second. Alright, so you guys get the idea, you roll it up until you look like a old little grandma. I'm going to lay my bangs, that front piece, out, but over direct it to this side because I want it to be on this side, but to get more volume, I'm going to let it dry on this side, if that makes sense. Do you guys have any questions so far? Leave a comment below if you have any questions, and I'll be right back. All right, so I have all my hair in the curlers. And this is going to give you the look of having that nice, professional, full volume blowout hair without having to go to the salon. You can clean your house and take care of your kids at the same time. So that's a win-win for me. Although it is fun to go to the salon and get pampered. I'm not saying not to go to the salon, but... Um, this just works for every day. So anyways, I do this to my pageant girls. I get them all in these Velcro rollers um, and get their hair as big as I can for the pageant. Um, and yeah, so there, it's kind of, I don't know if you can see with the background. It's not perfect, there's some mess, but it doesn't need to be perfect. Anyways, so I'm gonna snap my fingers <laughs> Let this air dry a little bit longer and get back to you in just a little bit. Alright, so now it has been, um, I ended up, it's almost been two hours. And normally I wouldn't um, go two hours, I'd probably go about an hour, 45 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, but then life happened. <laughs> Guys, I went to Walmart looking like this. Um... Ooh. The, um, I have no shame. Or no, I don't care. Anyways, um, we got some really funny looks, and one lady was like, I haven't seen those since high school. And I said, well, they're awesome. Um, okay, so most of my hair is dry, but there's a few damp parts. 
So this is when you'll get your blow dryer and your round brush. I like using a vented round brush because it adds heat and just the air can go through. But whatever round brush, and if you haven't round brushed your hair before, it does take practice. I've been doing it since junior high, but and it's gonna get noisy, sorry. Because I've let it air dry mostly, I really don't have to apply a lot of heat. So that's going to keep my hair healthy. Um, and then you're going to just not mess with it too much. You're going to let it cool. And then your hairstyle will last a lot longer. You can even use the cool shot on your blow dryer. Um... This one's the cool shots right here, but most blow dryers have a cool shot. And if you didn't know what that was for, it's to cool down your hairstyle so that it stays. warm heat not the hottest that it will go but uh yeah I'll do a few more sections and I'll get back to you in just a second all right now that I'm to these top pieces here on the side where I want the most volume I'm going to take this out I'm going to take my tooth fine tooth comb or you could use a teasing comb but I'm just going to add a little bit of volume down at the base. And a little bit of hairspray. And then, like before, I'm blow drying it almost straight up. it out and that gives me a lot of volume right here and just don't mess with it I will say it is important to use your nozzle on your blow dryer that way you are directing the air and the where you want it and so um, if I had this that would make my hair more frizzy because the air is just going everywhere but this way I can use the round brush and work with it to smooth out my hair and so I don't have to flat iron or do too much work afterwards if that makes sense so I'm gonna go here pull it up tight and just get a little extra volume right there and repeat All right, so I have these last two pieces, and this is where I want a lot of volume. So, straight up, or even like, okay, so this is gonna go back, so I'm over directing it. Oh, that one's coming out. It's okay. Um, giving it a little wrap, some hairspray, not a ton. I don't want my hair to feel crunchy. And yeah, this one I'm going to like really over direct and blow dry almost like straight out. Okay. 
Okay, last one, and then we're going to fix these bangs <laughs> of mine. Is this helpful to you guys? Do you like hair tutorial? What do you want to see? Because I... I'm having fun doing this page, but ultimately I'm doing it for you. And so if these aren't helpful, let me know and I can kind of change, you know what I mean? The nozzle came off. But anyways, see how much volume I have in my hair? And now, if I flip it this way, it's going to be even bigger. Because I planned ahead and I did everything on this side. And yeah, it's big today, but this is going to last me clear till Sunday. And um, I work out in the morning, I get sweaty. So I use a little bit of dry shampoo to kind of clean that up, but the volume's going to stay and I'm going to have nice pretty hair without having to go through it with a flat iron or a curling iron today. I will um, probably have to touch up a few pieces tomorrow. One thing I've heard is when you go to sleep to pull all your hair up into a loose scrunchie. Um, so now we're really getting back into the 80s with the scrunchie, but um, put that on the top of your head so that you're not smushing anything and then let it down in the morning and that will give you some volume too. But I hope that this was, sorry, I'm not even looking at you, I'm looking at um, the screen. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful, please like it, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, invite them to this page. Um, and stay tuned for some fun giveaways. Have a great day. Bye, guys.